In this video, we are going to learn how do you format the date, how do you get the date and time, how do you get only time, how do you get only the date, right? Lot of things in this video we are going to learn and how do you format as you need, right? So let's get started and see this. Now to do this, the very first thing I will do, I am going to add few labels and drag and drop into my app designer. So let's drag. So the first one is for date and time that I am going to configure where I will see the date and also the time. Then let me add one more label. And yep. So this I am going to see only the date, only the date I want to see, not the time. And the third one, I want to see the time only. Okay, so these are three different labels where I would see date and time, where I would see only the date, and where I would see only the time. And then we will learn how to format them. Okay, now for date and time, I have a simple function available in UI Path Apps. Okay, so here in the text field of the label control, I'll type equals to symbol, and I'm going to select something called now. Now is the function. The moment you select, open and close parenthesis, and we are done. So that is going to return date and time. I'm going to execute that. Now let's do it for the second label where I want to see only the date, not the time. So for that, there is a function called today. So click on this and then open close parenthesis. Now I want to see only the time. To see the time, again you have a function called time. So click on this and then open and close parenthesis. Now let's see. Now after this, the important part comes. How do you format it? Okay. First of all, let's see the preview of the, this one. Okay, so the preview has appeared and you can see for the date and time, it gives me the entire date including the Friday, July 14th time is 8.55, right? Indian Standard Time, right? The same thing for the date only, it doesn't have a time. The time value is become has become 0, 0, 0, 0. There is no time available. Now for the time section, the time is there. The time is there, but again, um, it, it doesn't have a date, but again, there are so many things inside it. GMT plus 530 Indian standard time. And so a lot of things. Let's say I want to show only this one in the date. In the date, instead of the entire data, I want to only show July 14, 2023. That's all. I don't want the zeros and all that, right? I want to only show this. So how do I format this is important. Okay. So let's see how to format it. First of all, I'll go to this expression where I'm getting the today. Okay, this is the second one. I'm going to make some changes to the expression. So you have seen in the second label when I'm applying the today function, the today function is returning the entire string. Now what I want, I want only this one, July 14, 2023. Simple data I want, not the entire thing. Now to do this, I'm going to apply and I'm going to make some changes to the expression. Okay. So what is the change? First, you keep the mouse cursor and come using the arrow symbol. You just come after the equals to symbol. Here, there is a function called month. So let's look at month first. Okay. So this function, if you read it, returns the month component of a date and time value. So today will give the entire date and time value. Uh, date value today in that it is going to only return the month component in which format 1 to 12 month is 1 to 12 so it is going to give that so what I will do I will click on this so the month is applied now here use the mouse cursor because it's slightly I find slightly difficult trying to manage to write an expression in the small window so after you write month here after the month use the parenthesis Okay, then go to the end and close the parenthesis. So what exactly we are doing? The today function was returning the entire value. I am saying, hey, don't give me the entire value. I want only the month from the entire value. So I am applying a function called month. 
Now, if I run a preview, you will see the difference. What it will do? It will only return the month value and that will be in 1 to 12 format. It will be in digital uh, digit format. Okay. So, look at it. So, what, what we have got? We have got the output 7. So, that means when I am applying that function, month function to today, I am only getting the value 7. Getting it? Now, using this technique, I am going to get the day and the year also. So, how to do that? Now, I am adding day and year. To add something, you know there is a function called concat. Okay. So, what I will do after the equals to symbol, I am going to use another function called concat. Okay. Here it is concat so i'm going to click on it now this concat function once you have it here ensure you open the open parenthesis and at the end you put a close parenthesis all right then go inside here i'm going to put a comma and i'm to concat by a value okay what value i'll put a forward slash just to differentiate between the month so i have got the month only at the moment now i wanted to get the day I want to get the day. I will put a comma here. So, I am adding. Concat means I am adding a string. Here, I want the day. Now, to get the day, again, you have the day function. So, go here. There is a day function which will return 1 to 31. So, I am going to click on day function. Then, for the day function, open and close parenthesis. Inside it, be very careful while you are type, you know, putting this parenthesis. That is where the mistake may happen. Here, I would use the today function. So, it will provide me the day of today. So, let me write today and after you click today, ensure open and close parenthesis. Done? Okay, let's come out. Let's come out, put a comma here and then again what I will do, I will use a forward slash. Then I want year, right? Put a comma and then I want year. So, I will use the year function and parenthesis inside that i will use the today function it's pretty simple once you have understood the concept yeah i'm just you know repeating that that's it so i'm using today and then open and close parenthesis for today so all this function should have open and close parenthesis okay now if you click outside if there is any error it will become red so that means there is some comma some uh, parenthesis something is missing okay so this is the perfect expression that i have written now let me hit on preview you will see the difference now because i have done a concat it is going to give me the way i want so now it is going to show me seven then the date then the year okay now you can see i got the required format seven then 14 then 2023 okay and the same taking technique can be applied to the time can be applied to a anywhere okay so you have for the time also there are multiple expressions okay let's say i want to get only the hour let's say i want to get only the minute second is not there okay so all this thing the same way i have applied for today function same thing you have to apply for the time function and get the desired way uh, of uh, the date and time format so thank you guys for watching i'm pretty sure by looking at this you will be able to formulate your own ideas and design the format that you want but there are limitations i understand but again this is what is available at the moment and we can utilize it thank you guys um, for watching it we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye